Every once in a while, the weather takes over. And the weather person becomes the main player in the circumstances. So that's very exciting. We are a national asset and we are frequently called upon to provide support for local SRS scale type modeling all the way up to global modeling and tracking. Our customers tend to rely on us for critical weather forecasts on site because we help to protect worker safety, the environment, and also we help their operation save money. Atmospheric Technologies Group is a dedicated group of meteorologists, climatologists, hydrologists, and instrument technicians, all working together to really provide comprehensive meteorological analyses and support to SRS. Atmospheric Technology Center, our weather center as we like to call it, is really kind of our crown jewel where we have our computer displays, we have very nice graphics for our plume modeling, the current conditions. We actually receive weather data for the entire globe and all the typical radar and satellite imagery, all these sorts of things that we need to do our job well are available to us. We provide daily weather forecasts for site operations that are very important to many different entities, including moving materials on site that may have a wind speed requirement to be less than 10 miles an hour. We provide support to the helicopter security overflight mission, cloud cover and visibility data to that program. Specifically for the remote worker system, we have real-time lightning data coming into the site and we have set up an automatic paging system that when lightning is detected here on site, pages go out to the remote workers to alert them that conditions are becoming hazardous. And we also provide a forecast twice daily for the U.S. Forest Service and their prescribed burn program on site. They burn a lot here but there's always the threat from wildfires, so we will remain vigilant and have that weather information at their fingertips. The tower network was built with an observation tower near all the major facilities. We've got 10 on-site and three off-site, and all of that data feeds into a real-time analysis of the winds and weather conditions on-site. The climatology site is really a unique collection of instruments. It gives us information at four levels, as well as solar radiation information, cloud information, additional relative humidity, and other moisture variables that we aren't getting from the other towers. We even use that data to calculate heat stress. We have a radiometer, rain gauge, evaporation tanks. It's a much more complete suite of meteorological measurements that help us to determine the, the current conditions. And so this lets us really put together a full picture of what do conditions look like on site, whether that's atmospheric stability, which is very important in dispersion modeling, down to very specific micro-scale rainfall or humidity information, which can be of importance to specific customers to know what's going on at the ground level compared to what's just going on basically above the forest canopy. Whether it's forecast out to the site or moving into our dispersion systems. It all starts with the meteorological modeling. We run specifically the weather research and forecasting model as well as the RAMS regional atmospheric modeling system. Tune both of them to kind of the southeastern U.S. to give the best forecast that we can day to day. The dispersion modeling is really what we use to support the emergency operations on site as well as non-proliferation activities that SRNL is engaged in. And so for that we have a whole range of models from simple Gaussian models to much more detailed models which are looking at full three-dimensional meteorology, how are individual particles within a plume behaving, and we can go so far as to incorporate radiological decay, hydrological processes, if these get into streams, we have models that predict the dispersion within the streams here on site and as it moves out to either the Savannah River or out to the Atlantic Ocean from there. We can run our models anywhere in the world and pretty much any time. 
And a good example was the situation at Fukushima several years ago, where there's a radiological release to the environment. We were able to use our models and make long-range transport predictions when that material was going to reach the United States. We have a mutual aid agreement with the local emergency management agencies. By using the same sorts of techniques that have been developed here at Savannah River site, we're able to use those in the surrounding communities in terms of providing an extra layer of protection and support. The Atmospheric Technologies Group has both an intranet and internet presence and a mobile app. And you can access these anytime, anywhere to get our latest weather forecast information and current observations. Give us a call. We have a duty forecaster available for providing detailed forecast information. And the more we know about what your needs are in terms of forecasts, the better job that we can do.